Okay, remember, I'm Professor Jordan Edelstein. My key stats, IQ 140, nearsighted, and I once spent a sexually experimental weekend with Allen Ginsberg. And I'm Amanda Lane. I didn't take your name. That's fine, because you converted for me. Your parents weren't too happy about you marrying a Hebrew, but then my book started selling, and they changed that tune right quick. I was thinking we've been married about 17 years. Perfect. And I'm the head of the political science department at Harvard. Thank you very much. Political science? You should be an economics professor. What? No, I make my own backstory. Besides, I freaking hate economics. Fine. If you want to waste your life with political science, go ahead. God, you sound just like your mother. <laughs> <laughs> You're just slightly better at this than I expected. Thanks for letting me interview you for the Anne Rice Fan Club newsletter. Oh, no problem. How did you get my number again? Huh? Oh, from your high school principal. Yeah, huge Anne Rice fan. Total mo. Hi, uh, reservations for two under Roger? We don't take reservations. Excellent. Hey, Ethan. Don't you love literature? It's so uninhibited. Like me after a couple beers. Hmm. Good afternoon, everyone. <gasps> I'm Professor Guggenheim. Wait, is there another G? Or is it... I'm Professor Baxter, and you'll be respecting me this semester. What are you doing? I went to talk to the dean. One lie led to another, and he asked me to teach this class. You can't teach. Quiet, please. You may have thought this class was about literature. You were wrong. This class is about life. Electric word, life. It means forever, and that's a mighty long time. But I'm here to tell you, there's something else. My office hours, they're Tuesday from 1 to 3. Mm. Dude, that rocked! Who are you? I'm Krispy Kreme McDonald's. My Krispy Kreme mama got raped by my McDonald's daddy. <gasps> what are you doing? I don't have any bones in my arms, which makes me a natural on the drums. Plus, I love music, Steve. I can't live without my jams. I gotta rock it! Gotta rock it! Gotta do it! If you don't know, now you know! Forget it! I think we should go with our first choice, Toshi's sister, Akiko. Ooh, I'm thirsty from rocking it so hard. Who wants a Smirnoff ice and some bootleg Ukrainian porn? So I had to fire Teresa, hire a painter, and get a new hygienist all in one week. Oy vey, smear. But I do well, though. I make a living. I'm comfortable. Waiter! Never mind, we're okay. Oh, Jacob, I'm so impressed. You seem to have it all figured out. Well, I grew up around some very strong women. Can I say, Jacob, your nose job? The doctor did fantastic work. You can hardly even notice it's there. You like it? Dr. Birnbaum. I went in with a deviated septum and figured, while, while I'm, I'm here. here. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, I have never told a guy about my nose job on the first date before. It's a good first date. What do you think about maybe doing it again? Jerry, will you marry me? It's Shari, and yes! Oh, Jacob, you have made me so happy. Ma, you won't believe it. He asked me to marry him. Yes, the orthodontist, Brandeis. Reformed, Ashkenazi. Haven't seen the car. I know, is it great? We did it, Ma. We finally did it. Oh, no, my wedding ring. There he is. That little feelings herder is about to eat crow. I'm going to go rub his nose in my nose. Mommy, look, it's the monster! <gasps> the monster from the hit movie Hollow Man! Oh my god, it is Kevin Bacon! Normally I'd chastise you for watching an R-rated movie, but Kevin Bacon is an American treasure, even when he's playing an invisible rapist! Did someone order a sexy Persian wingman? Let's go. I gotta keep moving or these pants will cut off my circulation and my legs will die. Okay, here's my club persona. I'm a Persian stud, name of Rashid. I drive an M3 with tricked out ground effects. I live with my parents. Big house, no yard. I sell X, but I don't use it. I'm gonna go take a lap, pounce on the first badonka donk I see. 
you must be the Hannigans. Maurice Barnes, All-Star Realty. You're gonna love this house. Here you go, I'm also a singer-songwriter. I'm playing a gig at Sarah's Coffee House next Thursday, plugging my new self-release CD. Real soul-searching, heavy stuff. Buy the house, don't buy the house. You're comped either way. Don't let it influence your decision. My mother killed herself when I was 12, track four. One of the paramedics molested me on the way to the morgue. It's all in the liner notes. Come in, come in, come in. Now, I love these built-ins. You don't see these anymore. What the? You poached my bear! What the hell are you doing? I'm taking my bounty back! Ah! What's your problem? Oh, you mean besides being shot at by a bottom-heavy freak? You know it's awkward when I try to jog. I mean, I like soul-crushing sarcasm as much as the next guy, and kudos on your commitment to the bit, but Jeff is your son. And my bounty. Who the hell is this? Horse Renoir. Bounty hunter. Born in the bayou. Some say the hell spawn of a prostitute and a whore. Others say... Shut up! Rude.